Hi, my name's Fintan Sutton and I play clarinet, bass clarinet and sometimes saxophone in the RTE National Symphony Orchestra, who are the resident orchestra in the National Concert Hall. I would say 90% of all the work we do, we do in the Concert Hall. This is made up mainly of uh, recordings, educational projects and concerts, a lot of which are recorded and can be heard on Lyric FM. This is the clarinet. It's long, it's black and it's got lots of silver keys and it sounds like to make a sound on the clarinet, it's all about pushing air through the instrument and moving your fingers. But the most important bit, which we need to make a sound, is this, which is the reed, which is made from bamboo cane. It's attached to the mouthpiece like that. You put this thing on, which is called the ligature, but you don't need to know really about that, and you blow, and it makes a sound like this. Not very pleasant, but if you attach it to the top of the instrument and then blow down, you should get a nicer sound. And as you add fingers down, you get lower notes. And when we take them off, we get higher notes. Many years ago when I was in school, a teacher there started playing tin whistles and then after that we did recorders. After a couple of years of that, they decided to start a proper wind band and we were all given the option of instruments to play. I decided I wanted to play the trumpet and went home to tell my dad. Uh, my dad, who wasn't very keen on a loud instrument at home, said to me that the trumpet had a very, very sharp mouthpiece and when I would blow it, it would cut my lips. So I decided I'd play the clarinet. By the time I found out that it wasn't true about the trumpet, I was really into the clarinet at that stage. I had lots of favourite pieces, but today I'll pick two, which are completely different from each other. The first one is the opening of the slow movement of the Mozart Clarinet Concerto, which I just think is a lovely, beautiful tune. The second is a klezmer piece. Klezmer music is Jewish music from Eastern Europe that was often played at weddings. If you enjoyed the last clip, there's two clarinet players I can recommend for you to listen to who demonstrate that style of playing. The first one is Sabine Meyer and the second is George Friedman and you can click on the links provided. Thanks for watching and listening and do keep an eye out for more videos in this series and hopefully we'll be back playing live music to live audiences in the National Concert Hall in the not too distant future. And if you play the clarinet, why not video yourself? It doesn't matter what standard you're at or what type of music you're into, and then tag it to the concert hall. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.